I want to speak particularly to our largest generation now, our millennials. I have the mom of two wonderful millennial young women who are bright and hardworking, and I will tell you what I told to them. They are the core group that will stop this virus. They are the group that communicates successfully, independent of picking up a phone. They intuitively know how to contact each other without being in large social gatherings. We're asking all of them to hold their gatherings to under 10 people, not just in bars and restaurants, but in homes. We really want people to be separated at this time. To be able to address this virus comprehensively that we cannot see, for which we don't have a vaccine or a therapeutic, the only thing we have right now is the amazing ingenuity and compassion of the American people. Now, why do I think the millennials are the key? Because they're the ones that are out and about. And they're the most likely to be in social gatherings. And they're the most likely to be the least symptomatic. And I think we've always heard about the greatest generation. We're protecting the greatest generation right now and the children of the greatest generation. And I think the millennials can help us tremendously by having, a, plus they need to communicate with each other. Public health people like myself don't always come out with compelling and exciting messages that a 25 to 35 year old may find interesting and something they will take to heart. But millennials can speak to one another about how important it is in this moment to protect all of the people. Now you could be 40 and have a significant medical condition and be of substantial risk. You could be 30 and having come through Hodgkin's disease or non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and be of a significant risk. So there are risk groups in every age group but the age, there's more millennials now than any other cohort, and they can help us at this moment.